All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. We're sitting over here on the review table, and uh, tonight we're gonna be doing a review on this guy right here. We're just taking a look at it. I'm gonna show you the inside of it. We're gonna measure, we're gonna weigh it, gonna have a lot of fun with it. But the most importantly, I just want you to see what this thing looks like on the inside. We did the X2 uh, barrel the other night, right? And it is a button pulled, drilled out barrel. This is the same, and this is a $400 barrel. Now, for, real quickly, big disclaimer here. YouTube reviewers, I am not selling this barrel. I'm merely showing our viewers the ins and outs of the barrel, okay? No websites being mentioned or anything else like that. I had a video that was taken down by YouTube a few minutes ago uh, about the internet. Uh, and I don't know why they did it, but we had to go through a review, do some training. It was kind of interesting, had to do that. So, but anyway, I want to show you guys this barrel. This is a $400 barrel. I bought this back in the day when Big Daddy Unlimited was a thing. And I don't know why, but I have never used it. So this guy is really, really nice. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put it on the, the uh, review table. I am probably will put something together with this. So this is a full-size bull barrel, okay, versus what we did, the fluted barrel by the guys over the X2. This thing's hefty, and we'll weigh it, and I'm gonna show you the difference between this barrel and the X2. And I just ran a scope through it for the first time, and I've had it, I cost several years. I'm not very happy, I'll be honest with you. The reason I bought it, it's my good friend Pop's Quest, and I had a little challenge together. We were doing the 6.5 Creedmoor, he went out and bought his Seekins Precision and uh, based on a recommendation from a friend of his where I built mine and out of a uh, proof research barrel and a lot of other really good parts. I probably spent more than it would take to go out, but you know me, I like to just build stuff and do whatever. But uh, he outshot it, my, uh, my proof research barrel. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I was like, you know what, I'm going to give Seekins Precision a go ahead. So without further uh, doo doo, let's go ahead and show this thing to you. Uh, we're going to put a lot of videos out this week about reviews and things like that. So I appreciate your support. You guys have a great time in the video. Here we go. Stand by. All right, guys, we're sitting over the review table here and in front of us. We got this barrel. Now let's just give it a gander. Okay. Nice. Very nice. It's got a bead finish on it. It's got some kind of melanite or some type of finish on there to prevent any kind of corrosion. This thing's chambered in 223 Wild. And uh, let's talk about the details. This comes directly from the guys over at uh, Seekers Precision. Um, some CNC machine match grade specifications of the best quality 416 stainless steel. Uh, each barrel is inspected no less than four times to guarantee maximum accuracy and reliability. I got to question that a little bit. I, I'm not trying to butt heads with the guys over there at Sickens Precision. However, I am kind of, uh, well, you'll see here in a minute. Okay, hold on. Let's change up that focus point right there. There we go. All right. So anyway, I, uh, I've, I've got a little, little bone to pick with these cats. So anyway, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, Seekers Precision match grade barrels are a major upgrade for any tactical or competition rifle or carbine. Premium stainless steel blanks and precision machine and inspected to guarantee, uh, let's see, perfect concentricity, which means there's none of this, okay? Uh, or bent barrels or anything else. All your uh, threads are gonna be in alignment with this thing. If you get baffle strikes, uh, that's where that comes from, okay? All right, so, um, Threads for the 223 Wilder are uh, to one, uh, half to one half 28. It's one and eight twist. Um, so that's it, pretty much. So let's go through from front to back. You got a barrel extension in here, no big deal. But M4 feet ramps right there, as you can see. Let's see if we can make sure it comes into focus. Um, nice gas port. You do have a little indexing port point right there. It is labeled 223 Wilder. They don't say anywhere on the barrel that it's a one and eight twist, but trust me, it is a one and eight twist. It is my favorite twist. As you can see up here, we got a nice crown. Uh, beautiful threads on this thing. Overall, very nice barrel. I'm going to run over here real quick and grab the scales. Let's weigh this thing. All right, you remember when the X2 barrel was one pound, 5.7 ounces. This is 2.24 pounds. Guys, that's a, a significant weight gain. The idea behind the X2 is that you have the truss configuration in the flutes, and that is supposed to provide us with um, the rigidity that we need. In other words, when you go to town on one of these things, and, and to be perfectly honest with you, um, 
about the only time in competitions you're going to do that is when you're doing a burn down. I've actually burned my damn hand in, in, in on what I'm shooting now, which is going to be interesting because I do want to do a comparison between the proof research barrel, this barrel, and the X2 barrel. But uh, rigidity with the flutes and the way they are cross uh, trust. That's where you, you achieve that rigidity. Gas block size is a 0 0.750. They do make this in an 18 inch. And basically that's it. So what we're gonna do, this is just merely a tabletop. I, like I said, I like the way the barrel looks, okay? But the tail tall <laughs> secret, ladies and gentlemen, is this guy right here, the test long. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this thing in here. So the first thing we wanna do is I wanna look at the interior. Uh, and actually you can see it, it is a mess. And I'm not necessarily gonna put that on them because I have yet to clean this thing, okay? I uh, have not run anything through it, all right? Uh, let me see, let's see the lugs. You can see the lugs right there. Nice drilling on that. You can see in this one right here, okay? You can see where the drill made the marks. No, no, that's not gonna, that is not gonna do anything bad to any, anything, okay? So, um, and then we're gonna go in here. You're gonna see where the chamber is and where we're gonna be doing the, the rifling where it jumps, okay? And we're getting there. Right there is where we should start seeing it. Look at that. Here we go. Okay, so remember on the X2 design, I was talking about how these jumps are. Now you can see the lands and the grooves on this are not quite as pronounced as they are. I wish I had the X2 barrel right now is being set up um, with 609 and the upper receiver, so I can't really pull it out. I just put that together and I got to give it tw at least 12, 15 hours to set up. Uh, really shiny, really nice looking. Um, and the grooves are all in a line where they go, okay? So the, the, the shoulders of the grooves, and if I'm wrong in that terminology, please tell me. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's take a look at this thing. Let's go ahead and bring it on up. Okay, so now here's where I'm seeing some things. This is, those are your drilled grooves from the drill bit that goes through the barrel. And what they do is they drill a hole in this thing and then they uh, go ahead and they pull the button. And you see the lands are not that pronounced. You can see on the sides, the depth, okay? It'd be interesting to go ahead and see, and you know what, I'll go ahead and I'll run, I don't have any other barrels here with me, hold on. Nope, I took them all out. Um, and I really don't want to take that thing out of the mount. You know what, I could do this. Hold on guys, I've got this thing sitting over here by itself and we can run it through and I can show you, I don't have to move it out of the, the vertical positioning, okay? But this is the X2 barrel, all right? Okay, you can see the difference. Look at the difference in the lands. That's pretty freaking significant, if you ask me. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's get on back over here to the Seekins. And uh, I'm glad that I just decided to do that because Otherwise, we'd be sitting here all day long. All right. All right, so one of the things I do, if you recall the gas porthole, <laughs> we'll just go ahead and keep running up the barrel. Not bad looking. I mean, you know, here's the thing. You're gonna build up the copper on these things, the grooves, they're, they're gonna be really nice looking. There's our gas port. There, let's pull that off to the side. I don't know why that keeps, that looks good. There we go, that was my arm. Anyway, looking good right there, let's go on out to the end. Some, uh, a gentleman said something about the crown was near non-existent. Let's see what uh, his thoughts are on this. Let's see, my mirror's coming loose. I don't think it looks bad, not at all. Clean cuts, of course. Uh, they, the pudding is going to be in the cake, right? What they say, 
and that uh, we'll see how well this thing shoots. Uh, I am going to go ahead and put it on an upper receiver tonight. I'll probably end up having to take it out in the next couple of weeks. I did not bring an extra uh, bolt carrier group. Well, hell, I'll use the same bolt carrier group. Doesn't matter. All right. Well, that's what we're going to do, guys. <laughs> that's it. Uh, Seekers Precision. Let's see how she shoots. Build some copper up in that barrel. She'll probably roll like a champ. So with that being said, guys, I hope you like the video. I hope you like stuff like this. We're going to be doing a lot of politics. We got a lot of firearm stuff. And we're going to be doing some shooting and some, some fun stuff. So with that... I was in my life. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women, uniform 24 7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. That's it. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Thanks.